What you just watched is the culmination of two days worth of work in Unreal Engine 5. And to be honest, that's probably one to one and a half days more than what it should have taken me. So to save myself some time on my next Unreal project, and hopefully save yourself some time too, I wanted to go over what I've learned from this car test. Let's start with Fab. Fab is Epic Games' new marketplace. It's easy to access in Unreal Engine 5.3 and beyond, as it's a simple plugin that you access by going to Window and scrolling down to Fab. However, if you are in another version of Unreal, such as 5.1 or 5.2, you have to download your assets from the Fab website to your computer first. As a heads up, this may mean you have to manually remake each material for your assets, which is exactly what I had to do. This was a pain, but at least I'm more comfortable with the materials editor now. Speaking of materials, something I actually learned was how to animate materials. For example, I wanted the car headlights to turn on during this sequence. To do this, I found the correct material, made it emissive by adding a constant node, then made the emission a parameter by right-clicking on the node. If I then go into my animation sequence, select the car, find the skeletal mesh, then find the element that relates to the correct material, I can then animate my parameter. This was probably the most technical thing I learned on this project. Lighting and referencing. When starting this project, I knew I wanted it to be simple. A car in a garage, camera pushing forward with animated lighting. So when I looked on Fab and found car garage blender file, I thought this would be perfect. I used the images for this model as my reference and set up a similar lighting setup. This instantly helped my scene look great. After all, I've already followed a reference. Plus, deleting the skylight really helped. I swear this thing always messes up my shadows. But there was a big blank space left on the side of the car, which meant the car lost a lot of its detail. So I thought, if I was a real photographer, where can I actually place my lights to make this thing pop? In the end, I figured on the floor would be best to help give the car more shape. And in my opinion, this was the icing on the cake to make it look that extra good. Lastly, realism. I've been struggling for a while to make my Unreal projects feel less video gamey, but with this one, I managed to get it to a point where I'm pretty happy with the final result. I think this is down to a few things, one being materials and models. These models are really great, high quality, and their materials are also really good. The shininess of the floor and the reflections also helps add a certain level of realism, since the light bounces correctly. Secondly, removing that skylight simply allowed me to start in the black and add lights as I needed. No weird shadows, no unexpected lighting issues. Well, there were some issues with light flickering on the back of the garage door, but in trying to fix this, I merged the garage door model and somehow changed the lighting so it looked less like lines. I have no idea what I did or how this really happened, but the closest thing I could get to going back to this original look was by adjusting the cast shadows mode on the light. And to be honest, after an hour of trying to figure it out, I just rolled with the new look in the end. Thirdly, render settings. Instead of doing 1080p, I simply times that by 2 and added these anti-aliasing settings. And it kind of just worked. By doubling the resolution, the final render simply looks less pixelated, and the anti-aliasing also really helps with this. Obviously, this took longer to render than if I did it in 1080p, but I think it looks a lot better. And that's most of the useful stuff I learned from this project. I did also really want to add some haze into my scene to make those lights stand out, but ultimately I couldn't quite get the right fog settings using volumetric fog or exponential height fog. Although I did learn how to create this fog material. Literally just follow what you see on screen if you like it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to see any more projects or breakdowns.